BRICS is the acronym coined for an association of five major emerging national economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Originally the first four were grouped as BRIC or the BRICS before the induction of South Africa in 2010. The BRICS members are known for their significant influence on regional affairs, all are members of G20. Since 2009, the BRICS nations have met annually at formal summits. China hosted the 9th BRICS summit in Xiamen on September 2017, while South Africa hosted the most recent 10th BRICS summit on 8 January 2018. The term does not include countries such as South Korea, Mexico and Turkey for which other acronyms and group associations were later created. In 2015, the five BRICS countries represent over 3.1 billion people, or about 41% of the world population. Four out of five members, excluding South Africa at number 24, are in the top 10 of the world by population. As of 2018, these five nations have a combined nominal GDP of US$18.6 trillion, about 23.2% of the gross world product, combined or GDP PPP, of around US$40.55 trillion, 32% of world's GDP PPP, and an estimated US$4.46 trillion in combined foreign reserves. Overall the BRICS are forecasted to expand 4.6% in 2016, from an estimated growth of 3.9% in 2015. The World Bank expected BRICS growth to increase to 5.3% in 2017. The BRICS have received both praise and criticism from numerous commentators. Bilateral relations among BRICS nations have mainly been conducted on the basis of non-interference, equality, and mutual benefit. History The term, BRIC, was coined in 2001 by then chairman of Goldman Sachs Asset Management, Jim O'Neill, in his publication Building Better Global Economic Bricks. The foreign ministers of the initial four BRIC states Brazil, Russia, India, and China met in New York City in September 2006 at the margins of the general debate of the UN General Assembly, beginning a series of high-level meetings. A full-scale diplomatic meeting was held in Yekaterinburg, Russia, on 16 June 2009. <laughs> First BRIC summit The BRIC grouping's first formal summit, also held in Yekaterinburg, commenced on 16 June 2009, with Luis Inacio Lula da Silva, Dmitry Medvedev, Manmohan Singh, and Hu Jintao, the respective leaders of Brazil, Russia, India and China, all attending. The summit's focus was on means of improving the global economic situation and reforming financial institutions, and discussed how the four countries could better cooperate in the future. There was further discussion of ways that developing countries, such as three quarters of the BRIC members, could become more involved in global affairs. In the aftermath of the Yekaterinburg summit, the BRIC nations announced the need for a new global reserve currency, which would have to be diverse, stable and predictable", although the statement that was released did not directly criticize the perceived «dominance» of the US dollar, something that Russia had criticized in the past, it did spark a fall in the value of the dollar against other major currencies. <laughs> Entry of South Africa In 2010, South Africa began efforts to join the BRIC grouping, and the process for its formal admission began in August of that year. South Africa officially became a member nation on 24 December 2010, after being formally invited by China to join and subsequently accepted by other BRIC countries. The group was renamed BRICS, with the S standing for South Africa, to reflect the group's expanded membership. 
In April 2011, the President of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, attended the 2011 BRICS Summit in Sanya, China, as a full member. Developments The BRICS Forum, an independent international organization encouraging commercial, political and cultural cooperation between the BRICS nations, was formed in 2011. In June 2012, the BRICS nations pledged $75 billion to boost the lending power of the International Monetary Fund IMF. However, this loan was conditional on IMF voting reforms. In late March 2013, during the 5th BRICS Summit in Durban, South Africa, the member countries agreed to create a global financial institution which they intended to rival the Western-dominated IMF and World Bank. After the summit, the BRICS stated that they planned to finalize the arrangements for this new development bank by 2014. However, disputes relating to burden sharing and location slowed down the agreements. At the BRICS leaders meeting in St. Petersburg in September 2013, China committed $41 billion towards the pool, Brazil, India and Russia $18 billion each, and South Africa $5 billion. China, holder of the world's largest foreign exchange reserves and who is to contribute the bulk of the currency pool, wants a greater managing role, said one BRICS official. China also wants to be the location of the reserve. Brazil and India want the initial capital to be shared equally. We know that China wants more, said a Brazilian official. However, we are still negotiating, there are no tensions arising yet. On the 11th of October 2013, Russia's finance minister Anton Silyanov said that a decision on creating a $100 billion fund designated to steady currency markets would be taken in early 2014. The Brazilian finance minister, Guido Mantega stated that the fund would be created by March 2014. However, by April 2014, the Currency Reserve Pool and Development Bank had yet to be set up, and the date was rescheduled to 2015. One driver for the BRICS Development Bank is that the existing institutions primarily benefit extra BRICS corporations, and the political significance is notable because it allows BRICS member states to promote their interests abroad and can highlight the strengthening positions of countries whose opinion is frequently ignored by their developed American and European colleagues. In March 2014, at a meeting on the margins of the Nuclear Security Summit in The Hague, the BRICS foreign ministers issued a communique that noted with concern, the recent media statement on the forthcoming G20 summit to be held in Brisbane in November 2014. The custodianship of the G20 belongs to all member states equally and no one member state can unilaterally determine its nature and character. In light of the tensions surrounding the 2014 Crimean crisis, the ministers remarked that the escalation of hostile language, sanctions and counter-sanctions, and force does not contribute to a sustainable and peaceful solution, according to international law, including the principles and purposes of the United Nations Charter." This was in response to the statement of Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop, who had said earlier that Russian President Vladimir Putin might be barred from attending the G20 summit in Brisbane. In July 2014, the governor of the Russian Central Bank, Elvira Nabialina, claimed that the BRICS partners the establishment of a system of multilateral swaps that will allow to transfer resources to one or another country, if needed. In an article which concluded that if the current trend continues, soon the dollar will be abandoned by most of the significant global economies and it will be kicked out of the global trade finance. 
Over the weekend of 13 July 2014, when the final game of the FIFA World Cup was held, and in advance of the BRICS Fortaleza Summit, Putin met fellow leader Dilma Rousseff to discuss the BRICS Development Bank, and sign some other bilateral accords on air defense, gas and education. Rousseff said that the BRICS countries are among the largest in the world and cannot content themselves in the middle of the 21st century with any kind of dependency. The Fortaleza summit was followed by a BRICS meeting with the Union of South American Nations Presidents in Brasilia, where the Development Bank and the Monetary Fund were introduced. The Development Bank will have capital of US$50 billion United States dollars with each country contributing US$10 billion, United States dollars, while the Monetary Fund will have US$100 billion United States dollars at its disposal. On 15 July, the first day of the BRICS Sixth Summit in Fortaleza, Brazil, the group of emerging economies signed the long-anticipated document to create the US$100 billion United States Dollars New Development Bank, formerly known as the BRICS Development Bank, and a reserve currency pool worth over another US$100 billion. United States Dollars. Documents on cooperation between BRICS export credit agencies and an agreement of cooperation on innovation were also inked. At the end of October 2014, Brazil trimmed down its U.S. government holdings to US$261.7 billion, United States dollars, India, US$77.5 billion, United States dollars, China, US$1.25 trillion, United States dollars, South Africa, US$10.3 billion, United States dollars. In March 2015, Morgan Stanley stated that India and Indonesia had escaped from the fragile five, the five major emerging markets with the most fragile currencies, by instituting economic reforms. Previously, in August 2013, Morgan Stanley rated India and Indonesia, together with Brazil, Turkey, and South Africa, as the fragile five due to their vulnerable currencies. But since then, India and Indonesia have reformed their economies, completing 85% and 65% of the necessary adjustments respectively, while Brazil had only achieved 15%, Turkey only 10%, and South Africa even less. After the 2015 summit, the respective communications ministers, under a Russian proposal, had a first summit for their ministries in Moscow in October, where the host minister, Nikolai Nikiforov, proposed an initiative to further tighten their information technology sectors and challenge a monopoly of the United States in the sector. Since 2012, the BRICS group of countries have been planning an optical fiber submarine communications cable system to carry telecommunications between the BRICS countries, known as the BRICS cable. Part of the motivation for the project was the spying of the National Security Agency on all telecommunications that flowed across the U.S. In August 2019, the communications ministers of the BRICS countries signed a letter of intent to cooperate in the information and communication technology sector. This agreement was signed in the fifth edition of Meeting of Communication Ministers of Countries member of the group. The agreement was signed at the fifth meeting a BRICS communications minister held in Brasilia. Topic. Geography The BRICS is an association formed by countries in four continents, Brazil in the Americas, Russia in Europe, India and China in Asia and South Africa in Africa. Its member states cover an area of over 39 million square kilometers, which is approximately 27% of the world's land surface. Topic: Summits. The grouping has held annual summits since 2009 with member countries taking turns to host Prior to South Africa's admission, two BRIC summits were held, in 2009 and 2010. The first five-member BRIC summit was held in 2011. 
The most recent BRICS summit took place in South Africa from 25 to the 27th of July 2018. Topic: Member countries. Topic: Potential additional members. Afghanistan, Argentina, Indonesia, Mexico and Turkey have expressed strong interest in full membership of the BRICS, while Egypt, Iran, Nigeria, Sudan, Syria and most recently Pakistan, Bangladesh and Greece have also expressed interest in joining BRICS. Financial architecture Currently, there are two components that make up the financial architecture of BRICS, namely, the New Development Bank NDB, or sometimes referred to as the BRICS Development Bank and the Contingent Reserve Arrangement CRA. Both of these components were signed into treaty in 2014 and became active in 2015. <laughs> New Development Bank. The New Development Bank NDB, formerly referred to as the BRICS Development Bank, is a multilateral development bank operated by the BRICS states. The bank's primary focus of lending will be infrastructure projects with authorized lending of up to $34 billion annually. South Africa will be the African headquarters of the bank named the New Development Bank Africa Regional Center. The bank will have starting capital of $50 billion, with capital increased to $100 billion over time. Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa will initially contribute $10 billion each to bring the total to $50 billion. BRICS CRA The BRICS Contingent Reserve Arrangement CRA is a framework for providing protection against global liquidity pressures. This includes currency issues where members' national currencies are being adversely affected by global financial pressures. It is found that emerging economies that experienced rapid economic liberalization went through increased economic volatility, bringing uncertain macroeconomic environment. The CRA is generally seen as a competitor to the International Monetary Fund IMF and along with the New Development Bank is viewed as an example of increasing South-South cooperation. It was established in 2015 by the BRICS countries. The legal basis is formed by the Treaty for the Establishment of a BRICS Contingent Reserve Arrangement, signed at Fortaleza, Brazil on 15 July 2014. With its inaugural meetings of the BRICS CRA Governing Council and Standing Committee, held on September 4, 2015, in Ankara, Turkey it entered into force upon ratification by all BRICS states, announced at the 7th BRICS Summit in July 2015. BRICS payment system At the 2015 BRICS summit in Russia, ministers from BRICS nations, initiated consultations for a payment system that would be an alternative to the SWIFT system. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabtov stated in an interview, "...the finance ministers and executives of the BRICS central banks are negotiating setting up payment systems and moving on to settlements in national currencies." Swift or not, in any case we're talking about a transnational multilateral payment system that would provide greater independence, would create a definite guarantee for BRICS." The Central Bank of Russia also started consultations with BRICS nations for a payment system that would be an alternative to the SWIFT system. The main benefits highlighted were backup and redundancy in case there were disruptions to the SWIFT system. The deputy governor of the Central Bank of the Russia, Olga Skorobogatova stated in an interview, 
The only topic that may be of interest to all of us within BRICS is to consider and talk over the possibility of setting up a system that would apply to the BRICS countries, used as a backup. China has also initiated development of their own payment system called CIPS that would be an alternative to the SWIFT system. The Cross-Border Interbank Payments System is a planned alternative payment system to SWIFT which would provide a network that enables financial institutions worldwide to send and receive information about financial transactions in a secure, standardized and reliable environment. Reception In 2012, Hu Jintao, the then president of China and paramount leader, described the BRICS countries as defenders and promoters of developing countries and a force for world peace. Western analysts have highlighted potential divisions and weaknesses in the grouping, including significant economic instabilities, disagreements between the members over UN Security Council reform, and India and China's disputes over territorial issues. In June 2015, Jim Rogers said that he does not see any current alternative to the US dollar and that the world needs something to compete with the U.S. dominated institutions, some of them, the World Bank and the IMF. So, if BRICS offer any new structures that can compete with these long-standing, institutions, it will be very good." On 9 April 2013, Isabel Coleman from the Council on Foreign Relations, director of CFR's Civil Society, Markets and Democracy program said that members of BRICS share a lack of consensus. They uphold drastically different political systems, from active democracy in Brazil to entrenched oligarchy in Russia, and their economies are little integrated and are different in size by orders of magnitude. Also she states that the great difference in GDP, influences the reserves, for China taking up of over 41% of the contribution, which in turn leads to bigger political say within the association. Vijay Prashad, author and the Edward Said Chair at the American University of Beirut has shed lights on the limits of the BRICS as a political and economic locomotive of the South, for the states concerned, according to Prashad, follow neoliberal policies. They have established neither new counter-balancing institutions nor come up with an alternative ideology. Furthermore, the BRICS project, argues Prashad, has no ability to challenge the primacy of the United States and NATO. Topic. BRICS pro temporary presidency The group at each summit elects one of the heads of state of the component countries to serve as president pro tempore of the BRICS. In 2019, the pro tempore presidency is held by the President of Brazil. The theme of the 11th BRICS summit is, BRICS Economic Growth for an Innovative Future and the priorities of the Brazilian pro tempore presidency for 2019 are the following, strengthening of the cooperation in science, technology and innovation, enhancement of the cooperation on digital economy, invigoration of the cooperation on the fight against transnational crime, especially against organized crime, money laundry and drug traffic, encouragement to the rapprochement between the New Development Bank and the BRICS Business Council. Topic. Current leaders Topic. Current ministerial leaders Topic. See also Brazil-China relations Emerging and growth leading economies Emerging Power Group of Two List of BRICS leaders List of country groupings List of multilateral free trade agreements List of potential superpowers Shanghai Cooperation Organization